<laughs> All right, and go. It was a fly, my bad. Sorry, I feel like I broke the camera. Hey everyone, welcome back to my series. It's your girl Asia coming back at you with another video. I hope that everyone is alive and well during this time because we have all been staying inside to save our lives. But you know what else is saving our lives? Netflix. Hallelujah. Netflix, Hulu, Netflix because your girl can't afford anything else. But that's okay, especially when we have shows like Too Hot to Handle to keep us warm at night. Ooh, David, <laughs> oh my gosh, you were just too much. I can't. What? It's research. The show has some fairly attractive people running around half naked, looking hot as ever. They're on a gorgeous tropical beach, living the luxury lifestyle. It's a lot of fun. And honestly, I didn't think I would be this into it. I don't typically watch reality TV, not even as a guilty pleasure. Nope. <laughs> but this one had me hooked, and I couldn't figure out why until I realized that the voice mocking the contestants wasn't just me yelling at the screen. Girlfriend, do not get in the shower with him. Protect your youngie. That's what I thought. It was a voiceover artist literally saying everything I was thinking while watching the show. And let me tell you, this show would not be the same without her. She brings us savage vibes, foolery vibes, oh no, we saw that, vibes, and cool aunt that lets you sneak out the house vibes. She's just freaking hilarious. <laughs> but I kept asking myself, who is the voice behind these comments that literally mirror my exact thoughts? Well, me being my curious self, did a little research and it is none other than the illustrious Desiree Birch. She is a Yale School drama graduate, actor, comedian, and writer living in Los Angeles. But apparently she used to be a dominatrix. Wow. Watch. But not gonna lie, like I invite her to my birthday party like every year. Let's do a quick refresher on the definition here. A dominatrix is a dominating woman, especially one who takes a sadistic role in sadomasochistic sexual activities. <laughs> she's my hero. And now she's a comedian you can also find on Comedy Central. She's the host and creator of a show called Fat Chat, where she interviews industry friends and other beautiful women who kill in the comedy game. And she is a black woman as well. Let's not forget our magical black ladies out here. Take a vote for those ladies. <laughs> but yes, she is an inspiration, making money, just burning all these contestants. Let me remind you that when these people are on the show, they probably have no idea that a voice is going to be making fun of everything that they said. I mean, can you imagine being a contestant and watching the show later to see this lady roasting you? what people think like do you if people don't treat you right you don't need them but it's not to say that the contestants are dumb i would definitely be one of those people who misspells the word excitement <laughs> it's just that she expresses what's going on in her heads and that's not always meant to be said aloud netflix y'all are mean <laughs> however it's not all pointed at the absurdity of the situation these people experience growth Desiree definitely had a non-judgmental spirit and she was lighthearted because they're people and the deeper you go with the show, you definitely grow a soft spot for them. We can tell that Desiree does too, despite her savage comments. <laughs> Man, I want her job. And that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you watch Too Hot to Handle and whether you think Desiree's commentary adds to the show. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications for when I drop new videos. My name is Asia, and this is Asia Spelled Backwards.